David from the home of interiors.co.uk and this video is going to talk you through measuring a bay window for a Hallis Hudson Arc bay window curtain pole. The Hallis Hudson Arc bay window poles are bent and made in the factory to your requirements and, and to your measurements and angles. Um, so there's just a few measurements we need um, from you. If you go onto the bay window curtain pole page, um, you will see um, a link to download our bay window measuring form. Um, on the form you will see all the different shapes um, a number of sides to the bay windows, so choose the diagram that best suits your window. If you've got a square bay, by that I mean a 90 degree bay, or you just want um, you know, one single 90 degree bend, all we need is the length of the two sides and to state that it's 90 degrees um, and then that's quite straightforward. If however, like this example here, it's a splayed bay, we will just need some more measurements from you um, to ensure that it fits upon delivery. The first measurements that we need um, are of the side facets. So these are called, um, each, each side is called a facet. Um, we've marked on our wall and um, with some green masking tape, just so that you can see it. And we've used masking tape just so that you don't, you know, we don't mark the walls. Um, just measure up and mark in a, with a pencil the same height off the ground on each of the pieces of tape and where you're going to take your measurements from. So just make sure that they're the si same height all the way around. We'd recommend um, that you use some step ladders so that you don't overstretch um, and depending on the side of your bay it may be a two person job to take the measurements accurately. The first job is just to measure along the walls so from point A to point B and point B should be um, marked right in the centre of the angle and then across the centre of the bay from B to C and then the same on the other side from C to D. Um, sometimes um, clients want their curtains to sit on the side walls, these are called returns, so if you want your curtain pole to be bent around the return, um, please measure the length of the return as well. Um, we wouldn't be able to do it in this case because we've got a sloping ceiling, but quite often um, you know, the ceilings are, are straight um, and the walls are longer than here, um, so that it is nice for the curtains to sit on the side walls. Once you've measured the side facets, we then need either the cross diagonal measurements or the angles. The cross diagonal measurements that we need um, differ depending on the number of sides of your bay, but in this instance, in this three-sided bay, we need the measurement from point A to C, which is this outer measurement to the internal angle, and then from D to B, again, this is the external angle to the internal angle here. Then we need the measurement, of, which is called the baseline measurement, across the very front of the bay. And in this case, this is A to D, so you measure from the same point as A, imaginary line across the point D. And this measurement across the, the front of the bay, the baseline measurement, um, it enables us to ensure that all the measurements um, and the cross diagonals all work out mathematically and all make sense mathematically. Alternatively, you could supply the angles instead of the cross diagonals, but please also supply that baseline measurement um, as the sanity check, just to make sure all the measurements are making sense. We recommend that you measure along your walls, um, and it is required for wall fixing, because the software we use will then project the, the pole so that it sits far enough away from the wall to enable the brackets to be fitted um, and the poles to fit. If, however, you're ceiling fitting, you could advise where the centre of the pole, where you'd like the centre of the pole to be, and you could take those measurements. So we'd recommend, in that case, um, templating where you want the pole to go on the ceiling and then providing those measurements. Alternatively, for ceiling fixing, um, you could supply the wall measurements and tell us how far away from the wall you'd like the, the pole to be to sit. Um, you may, you may maybe a certain distance, for example, if you've got a window sill or a radiator underneath and you want the curtains to sit in front of it, so we may need to project the pole slightly further away from the wall. The arc and bay pole is suitable for a double pole, so it's a lovely um, option if you want a nice floaty boil on the back and a heavier curtain on the front. Um, so here is the bracket, but please measure the bay in exactly the same way and then um, the software will just project the back pole um, to a different projection to the front to make sure that they fit um, on the bracket upon delivery. Please get in touch um, if you have any questions or we can offer any advice for measuring for your bay. Um, it's always great if we can see your window so that we can just take into account any practical um, considerations. So please email a photo into sales at thehomeofinteriors.co.uk um, with any questions that you've got. Alternatively, please call us on 01590 615 775. 
And um, once you've measured for your bay, you can either email the form to the sales um, at the home of interiors.co.uk email address, or you can upload the form to your bay window order. Once we receive the forms, we run all the measurements through the software just to check that it's all making sense and we will be in touch um, to cross-reference or cross-check anything um, should that be the case. We hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have, please do give us the thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel to be kept up to date with new product news, product information, useful hints and tips and interiors trends. Thank you very much for watching.